Maybe I'm copping out on this one because I think, you know, I'm not going to buy into all the uh, conspiracy theories about how it's manipulated. Right. And it, it they may not be conspiracy theories. Maybe it is manipulated. And I'm sure the people who are focused on that have arsenals of evidence yep. to support that. But I just think about it more in terms of conversations I have with my customers and and the response I get, the body language, the snickers, the hard typing on the keyboard <laughs> um, to suggestions that gold might have a place in your portfolio. Um, and I think it gets back to that idea that things that you and I have talked about here are just so beyond the realm of what they view as possibility yeah. that gold just really, you know, that's for people who actually believe the stuff that we're right, talking right, about. Right, right. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> uh, so it's not something that the average investor really thinks has a place in their portfolio. I mean, why would you carve out 5% away from an investment grade rolling. bond, yeah. you know, <laughs> right. that's actually pre-junk yeah. that could earn you 4%, you know, yeah. if you get repaid yeah. for this piece of metal that, eh. Yeah, well, that, I mean, yeah. This, this is what I always struggle with because when you think about the stuff, and this conversation has really kind of brought it into perspective for me, is that one by one, the subjects you and I have discussed today, you could argue very cogently that, Gold is a solution to each and every one of them, yeah. right? You, you say, what's the solution to MMT? Well, own gold. What's the solution to uh, massive corporate debt defaults? Well, it's gold. Right. Equity market's falling. It's gold. And yet the dollar falling, it's gold. It, so, uh, you know, I really find it interesting that, um, that the price is just kind of not doing much and people are not really bothered about it except the fanatics on both sides of the argument who are still in there you know, waging war against each other on Twitter Feeding and other our places. Heads into the wall. But but at the meantime, central banks are buying gold yeah. at a faster pace than I can remember in the last sort of 10, 15, 20 years. And, and they're not necessarily trying to hide it. No. Anyway, you know, no. Which, you know, so, something is happening. It's not reflected in the price. I have no idea why that is. I mean, I've read some smart arguments as to why mm -hmm. uh, the price would go down when central banks are buying it. And it, it kind of makes sense to me. But I really, I really struggle to understand why more people aren't just thinking about it a bit more, you know, and saying, well, let me, let me talk to Steph about it. She's always been hammering me about gold. Let me have the conversation with her. Well, can I put it back to you? Please. Because some of it, I feel like, is why wouldn't I own cryptocurrency rather than gold? Okay. And I'd be interested because I, as you, as I demonstrated, am clueless about why cryptocurrency should be viewed as better than any other form of money, much less gold. But how, do you, when you talk to people or you think about it yourself, how do you compare gold versus cryptocurrency as an alternate? Look, I, I, I'm, I'm probably 80% the Luddite you are. Um, <laughs> actually, no, probably 40% the Luddite. Yeah, I was going to say. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, think, no, yeah. It's way less than that. But, <laughs> but, 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 but again, you know, the crypto thing, I, I totally get it. Um, I, I made the conscious decision a while ago that, if I want to stay current on blockchain, you have blockchain, to own some, right? You have to own some, which yeah. I do a little bit, but it's mm -hmm. neither here nor there. Um, but you also have to follow it every day because it, it changes so fast. There's so much going on. And the intellectual capacity of the people who are deep in that space is so much greater than mine in the area that I'm always going to be at a disadvantage. And so I have friends of mine that pay attention to this and I sort of leech off them their knowledge. The one thing I keep asking myself, and, and I'm sure I'll get plenty of answers again in the comment section, thanks for dragging me under the bus with you, <laughs> is, you know, we're 10 years into this thing now. And for all the promise and all the um, potential that this thing has, I've yet to see the killer app. I don't see someone saying, aha, there's the perfect demonstration of what the blockchain is about, except Bitcoin. Uh, you know, people argue that Bitcoin is the killer app. Well, that's been around since day one. So uh, there's all these companies doing amazing things in the crypto space, and I've spoken to a lot of these people, and they're incredibly bright, incredibly smart people with, with big ideas. But I'm still waiting for someone to say, oh, yeah, here's, an, here's something tangible that you can understand why this thing is the future. You know, conceptually, I get it, yeah. but it seems to be taking 
a lot longer than I would think when I look at the amount of brain power being mm. thrown into this thing. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm like you. I'd, I'd rather have some gold because I, I know what it is. I know how it acts in a crisis. I know that if, if the electricity gets cut off, as long as I've got a torch, I can find where I buried it. Right. <laughs> I'll put the address on Google Maps. So, I, so yeah, I mean, I, 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 I just I, I, I don't understand what the price is doing. I don't understand a lot of the, the movements in the gold markets. But what I do understand is what it does in a crisis. Mm -hmm. And that's you know, really what I care about. I don't right, exactly. care about the price between now and the crisis. I care about when the day you need to have some. If you don't have any, it's too late. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get it for sure.